is whatever needs to be done. That's right. That's right. So when people say, yes. where you from, Baltimore, you know, and it's not, it's not a particular area. Yes, Captain High CDC is where I first landed, grown and rooted. I mean, you know, I was in Atlanta. In my house in Atlanta, I had a room that used to be my son's room. My son is here with me today. And he moved out. I couldn't wait for him to move out. So I returned his room to an office. He was probably gone a week and he came home and I had to put my name on the wall. I had the map of Baltimore all around the wall. And he was like, my son knows two and three in the morning. She stand up. <laughs> this is my baby boy. <laughs> He knows, even in Atlanta, I was only at my job if he wanted to go to college. I asked him three times, you sure you want to go? He, was, he wanted to be a tradesman. He wanted to be an electrician. So I was like, okay. Only reason I stayed at a job is because of him. Once he said it was a no-go, oh, I was on the phone. I said, oh, I need to get with somebody. I'm not about reinventing the wheel. If somebody's already on it and they're already doing it, I like to do, I'm going to get with them. That's just what it is. And Lo and behold, I'm in Atlanta. I call Charm City, <laughs> Khalil and Kier. I said, oh, because what Baltimore has been done has not been working. So we need new blood, new ideas, new inventions. Yes. The old way held us back and made it look like it looked now. So if we're going to be inventive and move forward, somebody got to pass the torch. Yes. And if we're willing, I only work with people that's willing. I only work with people that's moving. If you're moving and you're doing something in Baltimore, you will work with me. If you haven't, you will. If we didn't, you already <laughs> that's just That's just what it is. But when West North Avenue came about, I was already working with uh, Captain Heights CDC, and I got with them in Atlanta during COVID. I was on all their CDC meetings, all of them. I just was quiet, trying to see who was who and what was what. Well, my family home was in the Captain Heights district, and I saw it on a tax sale list while I was in Atlanta. I called my dad to make sure I had the right address. I flew up here, told my uncle, let's go see the house. We had squatters living there. So I said, what happened to you? This house, this is the house we grew up in. This house we had Thanksgiving dinners, Christmas dinners. And I looked at the neighborhood and I was like, what happened? 